Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 9th through the 15th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Six of Swords. You're kind of looking like you're potentially walking away from a situation slowly but surely. Uh, like detaching yourself more and more each day, but we shall see. In the recent past, the Page of Cups, the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something meaningful here for you that you're building on, so it's looking really, really good. You're looking really invested, even emotionally in that, so it's all of you in there. It's uh, looking quite important to you. In the current situation, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, you're very determined to be done with something. And that's what you're kind of slowly but surely with each day closing something out here. I don't know what it is, but we shall see. In the uh, immediate future, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands. There's a little bit of um, confusion here. You're showing up quite confused for a minute, for a long minute here, about what you truly feel about a situation. You're you're unsure. You're like, well, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. But it's because you're keeping yourself stuck in here instead of asking your heart how you feel. And the mind has nothing to do with what's going on there. It's like this one will take you on a roller coaster of, well, I feel this, but I could feel that, but I could also feel that, but I could, uh, da, 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 da. instead of just pause, you know, press the pause button and then really check in there. Because that's why it's taking so long for you to figure it out. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Six of Swords. For the Six of Swords, you get the King of Pentacles, the Tower, the Empress. Yeah, I mean, at some point, this looked to be very important to you. Um, but I feel like... I feel like it's a it's an organic kind of a releasing something that at some point you thought it was truly important to you, but now focusing on what's really important to you as you kind of go along here, uh, and it could be it's because you started to focus more on yourself and your growth, and it there's this organic distancing from something that at some point in time you thought you thought it to be oh my god you know I don't I think it's shifted and I think you're realizing this as you go you know it's not one of those self-imposed oh in order to forget about this i'm gonna start focusing on this no i feel like it just happened like that you know uh page of cups in the recent past so let's see what that's about ace of swords seven of swords four of cups a lot of hesitation on this as you kind of engaged into something here a lot of hesitation on your part and you actually look to be upset with you hesitating here with you being like almost clumsy about it or something you still went for it by the looks of it whatever it is but with quite the doubts quite the you know and the the you being upset with you part is just kind of putting yourself down because it's like okay so you hesitate so as long as you get it done you know it's done. It's a done deal. You did it. Yeah, but it could have been better. It always could have been something else, you know, but you still did it. The end result is you still did it. Doesn't matter how it could have been. It should have been. Nah. Let's do the Hierophant. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. I don't know what this is, but it has all the elements of perfect. So... <clears throat> <clears throat> you definitely entered a space here 
that energetically speaking, it felt like it, it covered, you know, it checked all the boxes for love, stability, happiness, everything, you know, for you personally. Now, I'm not even sure if this is about a person. It doesn't have to be. Maybe you found the ideal job, you know, that would bring you all of those in time. I don't know. But <clears throat> nice space you're entering there, even with a slight hesitation. Let's do the Eight of Pentacles in the recent past. The Queen of Swords, the Devil, the Page of Wands. I see a little bit of an energy of as you work on things initially, you're quite serious about it. You're quite, you know, let's get it done. Let's let's show up for it. Let, let's be here with it 100%. And let's be serious about it. This is serious stuff. This is grown-up stuff. And then your childlike energy wants to come out, and it is coming out. So you're having a little more fun than you should. Like It's almost like you want to bring out your inner child, and it does come out, but it stays there. It's like, okay, you can stay as long as you can handle these grown-up stuff or something like that, there's there's a little too much of that. I don't even know if that's you. There's a sense of where it's fine initially as the inner child is expressed and coming out, but at some point, because it's staying out for so long and so inner childy, it becomes a little immature and like loses sight of what's important here. You know, I have no idea. I'm not getting that as your energy, but it could be. You know, you wouldn't know. Where even though initially it shows up as, you know, reliable, like everything in place, and it could use a little bit of a touch of an inner child energy, like to, to loosen things up a little bit. As that comes in, that stays. And things are all loosened up here. And party every day, or I don't know, something like that. It's just a change in energy. So it doesn't look the healthiest when that happens because it's like, again, it's, it's kind of losing sight of what's important and disconnecting from things moving forward here. Instead, it's like party every day kind of an energy um, where it doesn't get shit done, you know. But okay, let's do the nine of pentacles in the current situation you get the two of cups the knight of pentacles the four of wands you're pursuing something that has all of those elements currently though you know a little bit of fun a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of happiness a little bit of love a little bit of serious a little like a a blend of everything and it looks amazing i'm not even sure if like you have something visually established like you know what you're pursuing here you know or it's just the energy that you're trying to kind of achieve here in a particular situation but it's looking really nice and balanced you know it has a little bit of everything for sure whereas in the past a little bit of everything was there until a little bit came a lot and then it took things off balance you know what i mean so a it started with a little bit of this and then it turned into a lot of that and then you know this this seems more steady what you're trying to engage with at this moment in time for the four of pentacles you get the king of cups the chariot the seven of wands uh interesting because on one hand you're showing me your determination to keep an eye out for how the universe is guiding you through this experience that you're having currently and then part of you is rejecting that so even though you tell yourself okay let me be aware let me be fully aware oh nice butterfly over there it must be a sign from the universe you don't see that as a distraction you see it as oh that's a that's a sign from the universe for sure and it could be but i see it as a distraction from you being like let's let's be present here you know, I don't know. I see you on one hand, very determined to keep open. On the other, you fall easily for distractions or something like that. You know, that's the part of you that rejects this openness. Um, let's do for the five of pentacles. You get the queen of cups, the king of swords, the lovers. Yeah, no, there's something that's being... 
removed. But again, in a natural kind of a way, because as you pursue new energies that you view as being important to you and, you know, keeping that intention, the ones that don't match what you're pursuing are just going to fall off in an organic, natural way. But there's something at play here that keeps on being um, removed slowly but surely. Something that, again, maybe at some point you thought it to be, maybe it's part of that past energy. I don't know. I think it is. But, okay. Let me do the Queen of Cups in the immediate future. The Temperance card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. You're looking pretty nice here. You know, super stable. Um, potentially freed from all of this. And just on your own there, doing your own thing. And you're almost looking like you're starting from scratch and it doesn't bother you. Because it doesn't look like, you know, it, it looks like I, I almost want to start from scratch. And with this newfound energy of what I'm truly looking for, then, you know, dragging all sorts of energies of the past with me that have no business in what I'm looking for. I would rather start fresh. So you don't seem bothered. And it looks really, really nice, this energy on you. It's going to take a minute for you to get there. Because this is still in process. <clears throat> but you're getting there. And it's really nice. Let's do the Eight of Swords. You get the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups. And then, you know, because even if this happens organically and it falls off, right? And you no longer have this in your life. There's still a process of grieving over it. And you kind of confuse the fact that this is no longer here and that you're actually closing this off with the energies that are going to continue for you to heal from this. You're kind of like, you're kind of thinking that as long as you're going to still heal this and work on this, that means the situation is not done. It's actually done. But the process of healing could be a lengthy one. Who knows how long it's going to last. That doesn't determine the done or not done of this. You get to determine that, you know, because I see the energy of healing over this coming through and you're kind of showing up as, ah, uh, like, how long is this going to last? I'm sick and tired of it. Like, come on, is it never going to end? Probably not. You need to start accepting that fact that whatever this was must have come here for teaching you all sorts of lessons that are going to show up throughout your life, even 20 years from now. Who knows? That doesn't mean that it's not closed off. You know, so, yeah. And then if you start kind of because this keeps on showing up for you, if you start kind of going against it by saying, oh, come on, you know, how long is this going to last? And because that's what you do when you do that, you go against it. It's going to keep it there longer. It's there to teach you a lesson, even if it shows up just as a passing energy of, oh, that happened at one time. OK, let me look into that. But if you receive that with. What the fuck? Why am I thinking about this right now? What's going on? Da -da 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 -da. That's a rejection to it. You know? So, just let it happen. Let it show up to show you what it wants to show you as a lesson. That's what it's there for. For the Three of Wands, you get the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands. Yeah? Stepping into your power fully there. You know? where not only are you stepping into your power but you're stepping into the energy of creating whatever you need for yourself as long as you got again that intention and you keep your eye on the target you should be able to achieve pretty much anything you want from this energy you know it's going to take a minute it's going to take a minute i keep on getting the sense of you know give it some time um not not all your life but give it some time it's not going to happen right away, but you'll know, you know, you'll know as it happens and as you step into your power here. So pretty cool. But I almost closed it off. Let me see what the universe has. I'm like, hold on. I don't think I uh, gave you the universe's words. From the universe, you get the two of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the ace of wands. Yeah, you're working on it. And again, part of you is kind of like. 
shown up as I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm on the right path here and everything's going great. Part of you has a little bit of doubt, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, am I doing this right? You know, um, it's quite normal. That applies to every healing journey that you'll ever go through, you know, where you're going to have all sorts of, I think I got this. And then, you know, the next minute it's like, oh, I don't even know if I'm doing this shit right, you know. That's kind of how it goes. Healing is always up and down and up and down. And so is you. So, so are you when you feel that those energies passing through you. So, But anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time.